Hello, hello, hello. I am Logic Engineer, and we are looking at the Spectralis from Batania. It is a flower that eats all 16 colors of wool in a specific order, and the machine you see behind me has automated the process of feeding it. To give you a brief description of how this machine works, uh, all of the wool is stored in these droppers up here that face downwards into open crates, and every four seconds, this hovering hourglass sends out a signal. And if the machine is not shut off, the signal will travel all the way around the machine, activating all the observers, activating all of the droppers in succession. Uh, the machine also features this manual on-off switch, a uh, full mana cutoff switch, uh, which is automatic, and a, an automatic turnoff for uh, any of the wools being empty, so you're not wasting, wasting wool. So uh, I'll give you a look at the materials required here. Now these stones represent any solid blocks that can transmit redstone and these glass blocks can be any block that doesn't let water flow through it. Uh, this machine does require a potency and velocity composite lens as well as a Gaia mana spreader. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. I'll get right into what the build looks like here. This machine takes up a 9x9 nine nine area and is 7 blocks tall, provided you start on a, uh, on a flat surface here. So a 9x9 nine nine with a uh, dirt or grass block in the center for the spectralist to be placed on. Now I will uh, build it layer by layer, or at least show it uh, layer by layer here, and fly around it so you can pause the video and take a look at uh, the build here. Uh, this first layer I will show manually, or build part of it manually, as it can be a little bit confusing. So, uh, this is five blocks of glass in a circle here. Uh, redstone, comparator, Gaia spreader with the lens faced into this pool. Now, you could locate this anywhere you want, really, as long as it's within range of the flower. This is just how I have it. I like to make things as compact as I can. Uh, this upward facing piston, the block here, this torch, lever. Um, now, uh, in order to get the water how it is, you need to place four water sources, one in each corner here. Uh, then you need to place a block in the center and remove the circle of three blocks around that. Then remove this block and then place the spectralis so you don't wash the flower away uh, trying to get the water set up like that. Now the rest of them I'll pretty much just fly around and you can pause the video as needed. If there are any significant uh, questions, I will try to answer them in the comments. Alright, so that's mostly what the build looks like. Uh, in this last part, I've gone ahead and added item frames with the wool colors on top of the droppers. Uh, if it wasn't obvious, these droppers are facing downward into the open crates. And the color of wool is the same order that shows up in the creative building blocks tab. So white, orange, magenta, light blue, yellow, lime, etc, etc. Um, the first machine I have built over here does feature hoppers and chests, as well as hopper hocks to uh, collect the wool. Uh, so this has a little bit more bulk storage. So it's got these droppers here, and then the hoppers on top of that. 
and then the chests with hopper hawks and item, item frames to filter the hopper hawks. Now, I've been generating wool with that farm over there. Uh, I may do another video on that, but this farm has been pretty good and can not quite fully supply this machine, but it doesn't turn off too frequently, so I'm pretty happy. Uh, this also, uh, you can ignore these. These are extra bits that I've added on here. So that's uh, pretty much it. All the hopper hawks up here are sucking up the wool. Um, from my particular input, you can get wool however you want. If you're playing a mod pack, there may be uh, much easier ways to generate colored wool. Uh, I mean, if, if the mod pack has alternatives, you may not even need to build this machine at all. But uh, this is using just, just Britannia and vanilla uh, methods, and it produces a whole lot of mana. So if, uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.